This lesson will give you more background information on how I arrived at the color palette we're using in this file, and it will show you how to make sure you get the best final results on fabric from the art you create in Illustrator. Two things that are very important for working with Spoonflower or any automated printer online are one, to double and triple check your measurements just to head off any potential problems in the repeat. And two, check colors against a physical example of printed colors on fabric so you're designing with realistic color expectations rather than just relying on what you see on screen. Your computer screen is an unreliable representation of printed color. Spoonflower provides two options for color checking, the color guide, which is a small sample, and the color map, a much larger sample. You can find instructions and tips for working with color in detail on the Spoonflower site. The Spoonflower color guide is a small swatch that you can order from their site for a dollar, and it has 171 colors printed on it with hex codes for each color. Hex codes are six digits made up of numbers and letters, and they're commonly used in web design to identify specific colors. Now the colors are still RGB colors, and we're still working in the RGB space. The hex code is just a more efficient system for identifying colors here. If you look at some of the included swatches in the template files for this class, you can look in the color panel at the swatch and the swatch is named with the hex code. And I made these into global swatches myself. That's why the swatch has a white triangle in the corner. It's a global swatch. And that also gives you a tint slider up in the color panel for this color. And global swatches make it easy to make adjustments to colors across your file. So I always work with global swatches in Illustrator. So in the color panel, if I double click on the color to get the color picker, you can see the hex code is down here. I can enter a code from the physical sample right here and hit tab and see the screen version of that color appear and the RGB values here. Now I can save this in my swatches panel and make it into a global swatch. So that's the color guide, but you may want more than 171 colors. So for that, you need to order the color map. There are nearly 1500 colors printed on the color map and the hex codes are there and you can select the fabric you want the map printed on as well. Spoonflower also provides a corresponding color library in ASE format. That's Adobe Swatch Exchange. You can download the .ase file from the Spoonflower website and then place it in a folder on your system to have access to it inside the Illustrator Color Swatch library. The directory path differs for Mac and PC depending on your system and here it is and I've listed the directory path in the PDF guide for this lesson. Once you have the ASE file in the right folder, you can go to the library button on the swatches panel and open the Spoonflower color map library. Choose the option to show fine field and you can type hex codes from the fabric color map to locate the swatch in the library. Then drag a swatch to add it to your swatches panel. Then double click it and check global to make it a global swatch. So now that we know how to prepare art with color that's compatible with Spoonflower, meet me in the next lesson and we'll print and export these patterns. Thank you.